Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Design is beautiful infographic design. It's a three-step process which you can design using Microsoft PowerPoint. So I am using Office 365, and here the first step is to change the color of the background. Make sure the color of the background is gray. Then you need to insert this solid rectangle and fill a gradient color. So here we will use six stops gradient. To start a gradient, you need two stops, but here we are creating a six stop gradient to give it a metallic look. And to give it a metallic look, you need to color the gradients. Like for the first stop, you have to fill white. On the second stop, you need to fill the gray color. Then on the third, again white fourth also white the fifth stop should be gray and the sixth stop again white so that's how we can you can get that gradient look on this shape also you need to adjust the slider in order to get the perfect metallic look so it, it also depends upon the you know type of uh, output you need after that you need to create a shadow effect and for that we need we will insert this rounded rectangle and we will send it to back so that it looks like a shadow of this metallic shape now we will insert this shape as well parallelogram and change its angle and reduce its height and change its color to dark gray or close to black and then send it to back increase its transparency so now you can see it is coming out very nicely and it appears as a shadow of this metallic rounded rectangle so it looks like a standy advertisement which you see across conferences or you know different stores so that that's what our idea is now you can see the basic shape is done now we will add some small elements on this shape to make it look good and for that you need to insert this hollow circle and then cut it into the half and reduce its size and place it here so what i'm doing is i'm placing just random shapes you don't have to add hollow circle you can add any shape you want for example now i have inserted this triangle i've changed its angle and then place it here slightly reduce the size so that it doesn't cover much larger area of this shape now remove this extra portion first remove its outline then insert a shape to remove the extra portion draw over the triangle select both the shapes and press subtract in the merge shapes and give red color to both these shapes so that's how you can you know beautify certain elements and by just adding these small things you you can you know create uh, beautiful designs now let's write number i mean we can we can give a count to these shapes for example if we are trying uh, trying to create a three steps process so we can write numbers like one two and three so let's write number here one increase its height make sure it's loud and visible it's in bold now we will cut the extra portion so that's how you can design it so presentation is an art and you can try such things now let's come to the text part here so here text styling is a totally different subject 
and it sh and you should also focus on it just don't throw the text on the presentation slides make it look good try to change their fonts their direction their style but keep it simple corporate clean it, it, it also depends upon the topic of your presentation Now let's add some dummy text over it. So here you 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 can you know add any effect or a number or even small bullet points. So so you can try different things here. So this design is very minimal and highly corporate where you just want to you know give pure focus on the text where text is the king you know there are many clients who only want simple presentations plain there you can try such beautiful slides where it's clean but it also beautiful I have removed this hollow circle bit because it is not matching with the design. Let's again insert this hollow circle and we will cut it into half. Now you can place it here, give it a red color. That's it. So that's how you can you can try it. Now let's add some nice icon here. This time I'm using animals category just for fun. But of course it should match your text. So here we can place the icon. You can try it if you want to place it over on the top above the text so just play with the design see what you can do try different things and now just duplicate it and your second step is also done you just need to change these three four elements now the idea here is to try new shape in every step this time let's use this shape here rotate its angle so this is just random there is no process here like you have to use this shape only try different shapes change their angles just throw them but make sure it doesn't affect the visibility of the content now we will remove this hollow circle as well let's fill in some new shape let's try this one let's move this to the top and let's place it here Now we will remove the extra part. Let's change the text. This is pretty simple, you know. We just have to edit certain elements, but your design is almost done, you know. You don't have to draw it again or design it again. So that's the beauty beauty of a good design where you can reuse the components and you can save your time also we need to change this number because this is the second step let's rotate it just remember the angle so that all three one two and three are at the same angle now we will remove this extra portion merge shapes and subtract 
and let's change the icon here let's let's pick a new animal style here let's pick an owl so similarly you can draw the third step as well the steps are same So I have, you know, here fast forwarded the video for this part. Also, you can increase the size for the important step. Here, I have increased the size of this second step, which I think is very important. You can increase the size of the first step or even the third step. You can add fourth step as well based upon the length of the content if the content is too much then you can't place the fourth step but if the text is less you can add one more so this part i don't have to explain i've already explained it so here here is the design let's see what we can do in the animation so for the animation I have thought of a new concept custom padding we will create a custom path for these shapes like up and down for all these shapes so here you have to draw this down shape custom path animation you just have to pick it and place it to the point where you want it to travel because we need the animation to to be you know smooth and for that purpose the distance it should travel should be less because we want the user to focus on the content these shapes should animate in the background and the animation should be minimal so during animation sometimes it become it becomes very difficult to align this while doing this custom padding animation so that's why i'm struggling here a bit but if you will use the mouse you can do it easily currently i'm using laptop and trackpad so that's why i'm i'm slightly struggling but you can use mouse to make it fit perfectly so you can see it's overlapping the text we don't want it to end here we want it to end above the text so that it doesn't overlap like till here so it's done. We want it to start with the previous. Make sure auto reverse is selected and the repeat is set to till the end of this slide. Now increase the duration of the animation so that it is very slow and subtle currently it is going out of this shape which we don't want so now it's done similarly we will apply animation to this hollow circle as well and this time we will use the up animation So it is in the add motion path module and you can use this up animation by default its speed is very fast we need to increase the duration of this animation so that it slows down just remember increase the duration to slow down the animation 
because if you are increasing the length of the animation the time it means it's slowing also reduce the distance we want to keep it minimal and slow make sure both these animations start with previous they have auto reverse selected and this should be on the repeat similarly you can apply animation on the second and the third step as well so the process is same the process is same here in the meantime if you like this video please hit the like button please press the subscribe also you can join the membership which is a great way to support us So now we have implemented animation on all the six shapes. I've changed the color of these numbers because red is not going with the overall design. I want it to be different, so that's why I've changed it to black. What else we can do? Let's animate these icons as well. For that, you need to ungroup these shapes because I had grouped them together. Group ungroup them then select these icons and we will add some nice animation on these icons so here i have ungrouped the shapes you can do it by right clicking on this grouped shape and press ungroup now once you have selected these three icons you need to select the animation you want on these three icons we want it to be very simple and you know easy animation we don't want it to be like something is moving very fast and and affecting the visibility of the content by any means so we have used this animation where these three icons will only move slightly just slightly you won't even notice but these are moving keep them on repeat and here's the final output so if you liked our design please press the subscribe button hit like join membership share this video and keep watching our videos we will see you guys in our next video bye bye